Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with our half-track build right here. Now, for a little while, I've been wanting to add a crane to this, so what we'll build today is a crane. Let's go ahead and smack one on the back of here, and hopefully it'll be good. Hey! Alright, so something that I haven't really built uh, in a long time is a crane. So let's figure this out together, shall we? This is going to be kind of interesting. So I'm going to start it a little bit further back than I normally would, like this, just to give us enough room to actually be able to spin around with it and to be able to get onto the deck. Obviously, we've got an equipment storage right there, and yeah, I feel like this makes sense. So, let's go straight to Pivot. We'll grab one of these guys, and I don't know what color to do it in. Probably gray, right? So we're gonna go ahead and shove that onto there like that, and that's how we're gonna start it. Okay, so there are actually quite a lot of different ways of building this, uh, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and build some sort of little thing around the bottom, just like so. Uh, we'll actually build this out once more, there we go, excellent. And this is gonna be built in like this. Bosh that on there, there we go. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this backwards like so, and that's fine. From there, I'm gonna delete these guys, and we're actually gonna go ahead and put some more pivots into here. Which may or may not be a good idea. There we go, bosh. Let's go ahead and merge those guys together, that's awesome. And I'm gonna build some around the back end of this too. Just like that, essentially, and I might do this as well. There you go, there you go. Bosh that onto there, and I don't know, fix that into there? I think that's okay. It looks a little bit strange though. Yeah, I'm not sure I actually like that. I feel like it's all a little bit too big. Uh, which to me seems very strange because it shouldn't be very big at all. Uh, right, let's go ahead and do this. There you go. Put that guy on there instead. And yeah, I feel like that looks a little bit more uh, right, I guess. Uh, next thing we're going to do is actually add a pipe across here and that's fine. How do I want this to look? I'm really not sure. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do will look a little bit, uh, let's go with f phallic, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so, let's get ourselves a track, that is what I want to do. Um, and I want to, if I can, attach this guy onto here like this, and I'm going to send this so that it goes over the edge, kind of like that. Okay, right, good. We're then going to delete the first one, and I'm going to shove this guy, uh, I'm actually going to delete that guy too, uh, I'm going to shove the track piece that moves on this end, like this, and then I'm gonna add... Oh, I don't know. How do the pulleys work? <laughs> I should probably work that out, actually. Um, okay, if we have a pulley. A pulley that changes attached rope lengths based on forces applied to ropes. Draw a rope logic line between the two rope nodes uh, to form a cable. Ropes will slide based on the difference in force applied to each rope. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, so, a rope can actually go into this end. Oh, no, it can't. Okay, I'm mighty confused. All right, where are these rope nodes? Let's have a little look. I've not actually used this at all yet. So, rope is there, rope is there. So, realistically, the way this should work is rope will come in from one end, and then the other rope will come out of this and like attach onto whatever you're picking up. I don't actually think I want to go with anything with a pulley, so we're just gonna go straight in with a winch, and this should be fine. I don't think we need much more than this. So, uh, let's attach this guy straight onto here like this. Actually, can we move this along one? I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this guy right here, and I'm just gonna attach this onto there like this. Honestly, I think that's fine. We don't really need too much more than that. I don't think so, anyway. Right, so let's get ourselves a... Oh, you know what? How this should work should be a lot bigger than this, shouldn't it? Yeah, what am I doing? That doesn't need to be there. It needs to be at the end, obviously. Right, so if we send this all the way down to here, and I attach this guy on using this guy, there we go, and I shove this piece on the end like so, then all of this actually is able to get extended out, and that's fine. What I do want to do, though, is make it slightly smaller, uh, so that hopefully it looks a little bit better. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and send this into here like this. Paste it in. There we go. Merge that one with that one. That one with that one. 
And let's see what this does. So, get ourselves a throttle. Okay. We're going to shove two throttles on here. One is going to be for up and down, and one is going to be from side to side. Okay, so side to side is going to be this. And up and down is going to be this and this. Okay, electricity for everybody, please. All right, so that's that one. It's there, 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 and I guess that. And these guys, there we go. It's been a while since I've made a crane, not going to lie. So if I do this, it should extend out to the end, which it has done. Looks a little bit ugly, but that's fine. And then if I do this, it should lift it, but that's wrong. <laughs> that is the wrong way around. So this needs to be like a minus one. Actually, let's just go with zero and min value is minus one. There we go. So what that should allow us to do is lift it up and also extend it out. There you go. We can lift it. And we can extend it out. There you go. Brilliant. Okay. I mean, that doesn't look terrible. All right, so if I was to do this differently, and I deleted these guys, right? And then we went for a pulley. Ye All right, that says pum. <laughs> if we went for a pulley, uh, I guess we could use one of these. So we would have it kind of like this. So if I deleted this and I did that, we'd have the winch go on this end. All right, so I'm going to have the winch located actually back here like this. There you go. Uh, this is going to attach onto these guys, if I can, there we go, and then we can rope from here into there. Then whatever we're picking up will come off of this piece, and that'll be good. So let's just link it onto there for now. Spawn that in, let's see what that looks like. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool. So when we winch that in, it will support these guys. Cool. All right, so that is kind of like a small crane, but essentially you just take this off, you'd attach it onto whatever you needed to attach it onto, and the pulling force of that should be really strong and allow this to work. All right, what I want to do now is actually increase the gear ratios of most of these guys, because I want them to be strong. Strong as ox. There we go. All right, yes. I think this is fine. Uh, I do think this bit might look a little bit strange. So I'm actually going to go ahead and attach... I'm actually going to delete those, and I'm going to do this. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll look cool or not, but yeah. Let's go ahead and extend this up. So we can extend it out. But for some reason, I can't pull it up. Is that because they're no longer merged? No, they're all merged together. I just think that won't let it. Yeah, okay, that wouldn't let it. So I'm going to put these guys here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shove this guy back on there. And then I'm going to go again. Oh, do they just not have electricity? I'm really confused. I don't know what's happening. All right, go down to there. That's fine. These guys are actually attached together. They're attached to there as well. Go again. Maybe it's the whole gear ratio situation that I just did. Maybe that is a problem. All right, let's go down to 1 to 8. And 1 to 8, go again. I hate when I have issues like this. I know it's my own fault, but still, <laughs> you know, I still hate it. All right, there you go. So they are in the sky. Then this one should actually be able to push it out. Like it currently is. It's very slow, but it's working. Yeah. And then when we want to pick something up, we obviously attach onto there. Like this, and you'll attach it onto whatever you want to lift up, and then that'll winch in, I think. Okay, so I have an idea. I want to have the controls actually located right here, which seems very strange, I know. But let's see what happens. So, if I get a button, yes, just like this one. Maybe not two-sided, we don't need two-sided. And we shove that there. Can I shove another one here? And another one here? And can I actually merge these guys? With this, no. But what I can do is this. Let's see what that looks like first, before I continue. Uh, not, not terrible, but also not really what I want. Alright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and put one of these guys uh, right at the back, essentially just like that. And actually, maybe one further that way. Yes, and this is going to be our controller. I was thinking about, like, a remote control, but I don't really want to do that. So we're going to go with these guys instead. And hopefully this will work. I mean, I think it will. 
Obviously, we can't turn it from side to side on the ground anymore, but we can in the sky. So I think that'll be okay. Yes. Yes, indeed. Right, so... Uh, how do I want this to work? Winch down? Uh, winch up on one. There you go. Winch down on two. Let's label this as we go. So, um... I can't remember which way around I just did it. <laughs> okay, up. So, in is on one. Winch in. Okay, cool. Winch out is on two. That's fine. There you go. Uh, on and off, I guess, can go on three. Here we go. So, three is winch on slash uh, off. There we go. Excellent. And now we need all the other controls. So, A and D is going to be for turning it. W and S is going to be for lifting it up and down. And then... For uh, up and down is gonna be for forwards and backwards. I think that's all I really need. I think so anyway. Uh, I'm also gonna turn this down and hopefully that'll be okay. Maybe. All right, so let's go ahead and disconnect it first because I keep connecting this together and that's silly. Go ahead and sit in our little chair and oh, it needs reversing, but that's fine. So we can lift this up. There you go. It needs to be on sticky, obviously. We could turn it from side to side. That is also inverted. But it works. And then we should be able to push it outwards as well. Which is totally working. There you go. So everything needs to be on sticky. Let me do that. Okay, so everything should be working now. Let's attach this to there and there. There we go. Disconnect this one. Get in our little seat. Let's lift this up. There we go. It is on sticky now, so it should stay there. Excellent. We can now push it out. Okay, awesome. That is going all the way out, which is very nice. And now we should be able to turn it from side to side. Yes, that totally works. And the other side as well, just in case you need to. That's good too. Yes, I'm actually very pleased with this. If we now reverse it back down, so it actually comes back, that'd be great. There we go. Excellent. And then let's drop it down as well. There you go, and that's sort of its like little secure area. I might actually put a block underneath that just to make it look a little bit better. But honestly, this is fine. This is totally working. Yeah, cool. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is actually add a spotlight to the end of this, pointing downwards, uh, so that we can see what's going on. Let's go ahead and connect that down to number four. There we go. So, uh... Do -do 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 -do. Crane. Crane! Spotlight. There we go. And that should work too, which is great. Yeah. Very, very useful. So, I guess we should try and pick something up with this. Not that I think it's going to work very well, but we should totally try. Okay, so that is the weight we are going for. Uh, I don't know if it'll lift this up, I'm not sure, but this is a full uh, stack of weight blocks. Let's see what happens. Also, I guess uh, the brakes should be on. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and turn those on before we do anything else. Alright, so, uh, let's lift it up first. There we go. Let's push this out first. There we go. Excellent. And we'll leave that around there just like so. All right, winch in. Here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, it looks like it's moving it. The winch... Is, is trying to do something, but really isn't doing anything. Oh, <laughs> as soon as I jumped out the seat, it fell. I don't think it's strong enough to lift this, which is not very good, actually. That's really, really bad. I don't know how to increase the power of a winch. Usually, I guess you'd do it through a bunch of pulleys, but we don't really have that, you know? We can't really do too many pulleys. This is going through one, and then it's going down to get to the other thing, which should make it stronger, but it's just not. It is not stronger. So lift that up again. Push it out. There you go. We're winching in. And... The winch just isn't strong enough. I don't know. I mean, I don't really have that much experience with this kind of thing. Uh, so if anybody else does, let me know. But, uh... Yeah, should this be lifting this? I don't know. Also, does the light work? The light totally works. Oh, that's so dumb that it falls down as soon as I get out of the sea, isn't it? That's really strange. Yeah. It's just not able to lift it. 
Oh, well, never mind. We are still able to drag it along the floor, so I guess that's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, we built the crane on the back of this thing, so I guess this is going to be it for me. I'm not really going to work on this thing much more than this. I might add a little bit of detail to the back, uh, and I'll probably upload it to the workshop, essentially as is. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little series, and I hope your challenge vehicles are going well as well, if anyone's taking part. And, um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.